because I am. Why is it so dark in here? Ah. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I know what you're saying. Taryn, you look different. Did you do something to your hair? Um... Well, yeah. I have decided to be a little creative this Halloween and just do something different and fun. Gotta right, be careful, there's fire over there. Ooh. Now, before you guys get there, I did not do this by myself. This look was actually done by another YouTuber named Made You Look. This chick is awesome and amazing. She does all sorts of kind of face bang, including this look. If you go check out her page, her is clearly a lot better than this one is right now. But since this is my first time, I have to move my bangs away. Since this is my first time ever doing anything, you know, really creative with face paint, I decided to do her Until Dawn clown look, and this is what I got. If you guys are interested in being a little bit more creative this Halloween, I would definitely go check her out. I'm gonna leave her channel link down in the description below, and you can see all the different kinds of face painting tutorials that she gives. Now, before I go any further, I am not sponsored by Made You Look or anybody really, except for Oryx Farm Market. I just think her stuff is really cool and creative that I thought I would share it with you guys. Now, with Halloween just around the corner, you guys are gonna need some fall decorations. As you can see, I got my own little pumpkins lined up here. Look at me getting all spiffy with these new YouTube videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to decorate the outside and inside of your house. So, without delay, follow me. Is that creepy enough for you? It feels creepy. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna first start off with the most complex decoration, which is the small Indian corn wreath. Obviously, you're gonna need a wreath, some small Indian corn, we got about 12 of them, and a glue gun. Great job there, Taryn, making sure everything gets into the camera frame. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one piece of your corn and just glue the heck out of it if the glue ever comes out of the gun. Any day now. Any minute, we're just gonna get so much glue on that corn. Any second. Um, so, this is awkward. And there we go. This requires a lot of glue, guys, so uh, as your glue gun jams up, just be sure to just smother that corn with glue. We tried to stick more towards the top where the stalk is, and you just basically want to press down as hard as you can, maybe hold it for a couple of seconds. It helps, too, if you also have another pair of hands to maybe hold down the corn while you move on. Make sure the bottom ends of your corn are at an angle so everything looks really nice as it's pointing towards the center. This is a long process, guys, so be patient. Now as we place this last little stalk in, I actually go into the little gaps and apply as much glue as possible. Spare no expenses, guys. Go to town. Glue everything. And there you go, you got your Indian corn wreath. Next up, we got our fancy pantsy Indian corn with the bow and broom corn and everything else. So obviously, you're gonna need a bow, some broom corn, a wire, your kern, and some dried flowers. Here we chose Gumfrina, and once again, Taryn, you did a grade A job putting the flowers in there. You're also gonna need some scissors and some clippers. What we're doing here is we're just spreading out the broom corn a little bit, just so it looks nicer. We're then actually clipping the broom corn because it's a little bit too long, and just bringing it up a little bit to make it kind of look fuller.
Once you got that placed the way you like it, go ahead and put in your dried flowers. Put in as much as you want. Once that's done, go ahead and show off your cool display and cut off any excess stalk that we won't be needing later. Trim it down as much as you can, but not too much because we're going to have to tie this onto the Indian corn later on. Keep it together with a rubber band. No worries, we're going to cover all this stuff later on, so you won't be able to see any of the rubber bands in the final product. Ah, isn't that beautiful? You can go ahead and place that on top of your Indian corn, and then get out that ribbon. So you're going to start off folding it underneath each other and then over the top. You're going to need a lot of ribbon for this. Go over the top again and then under. One more time over the top and then under. And make sure that your ends are pretty long because we're going to use that later on to kind of finish out the bow. Then get your wire, place it in the middle of your ribbon, and keep it as tight as possible with cats coming in to interrupt everything. Thank you, Miss Domino. Then make sure to twist the end, and then place it on your Indian corn. You're going to want to make this really nice and tight, guys, so it doesn't go anywhere. All we're doing here is just spreading it apart to make the bow look fuller and just really pretty. Whoop, there it is! Whoop, there it is! It's as simple as that, guys. Here is the most basic of basic fall decorating, guys. Hey, you're gonna need a lot of it, or straw, however you label it. All I'm really doing is just decorating this basket. I'm placing a really nice small mum in the middle and just filling the whole basket with hay. Just trying to cover up the pot, make it seem as if the mum is growing out of the hay. Place it everywhere. Hay, hay everywhere. And then I just went crazy with all the other fall decorations we have. I got some winged gourds, got some Indian corn, got Pokemon, Jack B. Little, Apple Gourd, small pumpkin. You can't go wrong with this, guys. Just decorate it how you want it. Are you ready for the pumpkin stack? Cats not included. For this, you're gonna need a large pumpkin, a medium-sized pumpkin, a medium small size pumpkin and a small pumpkin. I have no idea why I'm talking like this. This is really simple to do guys. All you're doing is stacking the pumpkins on top of each other. And, uh oh, that stem is sticking out and we can't place our next pumpkin. So what do you do? Yeah, chop it off. Seriously guys, this is all you have to do. And I'm um, really careful there and just making sure that stem just flies everywhere. Make it as flat as you can and then go ahead and set up your next pumpkin. You may want to move it around just to find a good place for it to settle and not move. Repeat the previous step. And voila! You have a four stacker. Now if you're feeling confident, if you're feeling daring, you can go for the five stacker. All you gotta do is chop off that stem and place a little bitty tiny little pumpkin right on top. And boom, baby, you got the five stacker. Pretty easy, right? This stuff is so easy to do and you can do it in different variations of colors and size. This is great for outside your doorway. You can even make smaller versions of this to put on your dining room table. So there's some fall decoration ideas for you guys that you can place around your home, on the inside of your home, maybe on your dining room table for Thanksgiving. And of course, all of your needed supplies for this stuff is all at the market stand. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below if you like what I'm doing here with all this face paint stuff. If you guys like it, maybe I'll do another face painting thing just dedicated to me putting this on my face. Let me tell you, it is a process, but it is a little bit fun. So be sure to leave a comment in the comments section down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Bye-bye. Video's done. Now it's time to scalp. You guys want to see what my hair really looks like? <gasps> That's what my hair really looks like.